what's right now at the top of the agenda for you from within the JCPA? There are two issues at the top of our agenda at the very moment. Uh, one is the unbelievably important immigration debate in this country. To make sure that immigrants from around the world, particularly those from south of our border, have a chance here. The 12 million that, or 13 million that just live here and do work and aren't really going home, that they have a chance to, to stay here justly and with as, as legal immigrants. And that debate is so important because we know what it's like to come to another country, even one called the United States of America, where it, we weren't always so welcome. But because we were welcomed enough, we were able to create this amazing Jewish civilization and be a part of the American civilization. So we have a, an entire program called Immigration Nation, and we're trying to make sure that the Jewish community steps up to the plate and the, the broader interfaith community. Second, we do a huge amount of essential work right now in uh, BDS, in boycott, divestment, and sanctions. There's a major effort in the world. We, it's sort of been stemmed in America to, uh, for the idea that Israel should not, is not be legitimate, that Israel shouldn't be there. It's not about whether or not you believe in settlements or think that they're wrong. It's about whether or not there should be an Israel at all. And I think that it's so important that we Jews stand up as Jews for this very particularistic, that's the word, issue, and that we also stand up for this other issue, this universalistic issue called immigration reform. By the way, the two examples that Steve gave are very important. I really hope everyone who's watching Shalom TV, Net, TV right now really understands the dynamic that Steve has described. Because every now and then, Steve, there are people who associate, quote, social action with Jews who are just not engaged or involved in the particular issues of Jewish survival, who are not involved in the state of Israel and the attempt to delegitimize it. And what you are, what you represent, what the JCPA represents, and what Avodah represents, certainly in its vision, is an understanding that both of these drives, both of these needs, both of these claims in our soul have a Jewish source. We care about the Jewish people, the state of Israel, and we care about the well-being of the world at large. And in essence, that's what you're doing. And I guess the last thing I want you to talk about is, I want you to tell me again that I'm wrong to worry that in essence your experience is that the longer you are within this Jewish community, you find more and more Jews today, young and old, who understand this subtlety and the brilliance of the distinction you're making, and that people today are as involved in A, social action, caring for the stranger as you defined it, and at the same time those same people are also dedicated to the well-being of the state of Israel. Speak about that to end this discussion. Two quick st statements. Please. Last fall, we, we have made it one of our signature projects in terms of our a a a advocacy is to make sure that the SNAP program, which is the food stamp program, stays alive. Last s fall, over 150 rabbis from around America took the food stamp challenge which is the commitment to live on $31.50 of food per week. They're not generally, there are a lot of Jews that live on food stamps, but that's not what's in their mind. We, we raised thousands and thousands of dollars, actually, because they did it like a Hazon or a Kent, an AIDS bike ride. And, but the truth is, they, and they all gave money, their, their congregants gave money, but it was a, a massive, massive undertaking that has inspired Congress, where about 25 Congress members have taken it, where there are thousands of Jews that have taken it. I think everyone should take it. And if, the, if SNAP passes, if the food stamp program continues, it won't be just because of the Jewish community. But I promise you, we will have played our role, and people know it. Uh, so that's number one. 1,500 rabbis from, and this is not an, this is a major statement what I'm about to say. People may just think there's myriads of rabbis, but there aren't. In every state in America, it was not that easy in South Dakota and North Dakota, yes. signed a statement saying to, saying to the Presbyterians and the Methodists, we do not believe that BDS, that delegitimization, is an okay thing to do. 
Many of us are very concerned about the Palestinians. We, we wrote this in the letter. Many of us are very upset about the, the growth of the settlements, but that is not the same thing. And if, uh, so these are the same people that work on food stamps, the, and these are the same people that they also work very, very diligently on making sure America stays close to Israel and our Christian friends do. They do their part. I've said it to you before, I'll always say it to you every time I stand with this man, this represents the best of what the Jewish people is and what the Jewish tradition is all about.